We are updating you on breaking news this hour. The biggest name in an indictment released within the past 30 minutes in the Atlanta Public Schools test cheating scandal. Here's the very latest. A sheriff's deputy walked the indictment into open court around 5 o'clock this afternoon, and we learned just a few minutes later that the indictment names several people, including from the top, former school superintendent Dr. Beverly Hall. We have nine teams on the scene, and we continue our live Team 2 coverage now with Channel 2's Mark Winnie, who just got a copy of the indictment in his hands. Mark? I'm breathless from running downstairs. This is the first copy of the indictment across the clerk's counter. The clerk's office staying late to give this to the public. Channel 2 Action News was the only station in Judge Jackson Bedford's courtroom when this was returned in open court. Former Superintendent Beverly Hall, Millicent Few, who I believe was the HR director, Sharon Davis Williams, Tamara Cotman, Michael Pitts, all of whom were high ranking executives, Christopher Waller, former Parks Middle School principal and many others charged with racketeering, racketeering. Now we have talked to representatives or to the individuals themselves for virtually every person I just named and we should say they have each maintained either in person or through their lawyers their innocence in the past. There are a lot of other charges listed here on this indictment. Uh, false statements and swearing, uh, influencing witness theft by taking, and so on. But we should make clear that not all those individuals are charged okay. with those things. There will be various uh, individuals charged with specific counts. We just got this. We've got to go through it and uh, sort out who's charged with what. We'll be back as developments warrant. A news conference is to begin soon uh, in Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard's offices. So let us digest this. We'll be back. This is the first copy of the indictment. Beverly Hall, former superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools, indicted for racketeering. Reporting live with breaking news, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News. All right, All right. Thanks a lot, Mark. Mark, thank you so much. So Mark just recited a few of the names there. Mm -hmm. Of course, most of the attention has been placed on the superintendent herself, Dr. Beverly Hall, who came here in Atlanta in 1999, and most felt that she was ultimately responsible for this because they said she was at the top and should have known about the cheating. She was even accused of ordering the cheating to happen in the Atlanta public school systems, as we've reported Test scores were very low when she first came to the district, and all of a sudden they seemed to have jumped up pretty high. In 2009, the highest jump of any urban school district in the country. That raised a lot of eyebrows from, on how that would happen. Exactly. From 2002 to 2009, they jumped 14%, like you said, Jovita, the highest in the country. Also, as Mark just mentioned, some of the other names indicted. Uh, Millicent Few, she was the chief human resource officer for Atlantic Public Schools. Of course, we're talking um, many of the high-ranking officials here. Again, you can see Richard Elliott, some file video, video we have of him talking with superintendent, former superintendent Beverly Hall. Of course, it all started with her. Uh, members of the grand jury believe she, of course, the first name released in that indictment. Um, you may remember, too, that our own Monica Pearson uh, tried to catch up with her in Hawaii to get a comment. She has not, talking, uh, not talked about this at all since mm -hmm. she resigned in 2011. Yep. Um, she, of course, Monica Pearson tried to talk with her in Hawaii. She didn't have any comment at that time. And she has, Dr. Hall has continued to live here in Atlanta and is represented with an attorney here in Atlanta. We are waiting to hear from them and get some comment from them as well. Now, you mentioned Mill Millicent Few. She was the chief human resources officer. Here's a picture of Millicent. Um, chief human resources officer for Atlanta Public Schools. And according to the state report, the investigation on all of this, um, a confidential informant said that Few had instructed personnel to destroy documents and also she was accused of withholding other records from being produced for this state investigation. Mark said that many of the uh, folks listed in the indictment this afternoon have been charged with influencing witnesses, false statements and also the big charge of racketeering. Michael Pitts, another name that was uh, mentioned in that indictment. Uh, he was one of the executive directors of APS. He went to Parks Middle School after the investigation began and started telling teachers and people there that he believed the inquiry was racially and politically motivated. The state report went on to say that Pitts told the teachers and principal there, Principal Waller, it was being reassigned because the cheating allegations. Now, according to Wilson, 
Pitts told the teachers that you better not start uh, saying anything if you are not we're already, uh, if you have not already said it. Of course, trying to get some of the teachers, I think, to, uh, to be quiet and not self-incriminate themselves, according to the state investigation that continued on the APS cheating scandal, Michael Pitts. Another person named in the indictment this afternoon that Mark Winnie read off to us is Sharon Davis Williams. We're also told that uh, she was the SRT executive director. Um, so that's sort of a regional position that she held dealing with schools in the Atlanta public school system as they are divided up into areas that different uh, staff were responsible for. Dr. Sharon Davis Williams also indicted this afternoon along with Christopher Waller and Tamara Cotman Johnson. Christopher Waller, you see there, he was principal at Parks Middle School. We remember watching him during his tribunals as well a couple of years ago and denying the accusations against him that he had been involved in the cheating. Tamara Cotman Johnson, another uh, executive director with APS. Uh, Mark Winnie talked to her, I believe, believe, exclusively yesterday. She believed that she was going to be an indictment. And again, her name was one of the 35, we believe, that's been mentioned in the indictment. She, according to the investigators, is responsible for aiding and abetting Dr. Hall in falsifying, misrepresenting, or erroneously reporting the evaluation of students to the Georgia Department of Education with regard to the cheating scheme. Scandal. Uh, the report goes on to say we conclude that Ms. Uh, Cotman Jackson either knew or should have known cheating and other misconduct was occurring within schools. And of course, what everyone has been wondering about these past couple of years since this investigation started was the culpability and responsibility of Dr. Beverly Hall, who was the Atlanta Public Schools superintendent at the time. She is the first name on these indictments handed up today from a grand jury. Dr. Beverly Hall is named in the indictment concerning the CRCT test cheating scandal with Atlanta Public Schools. And as Mark Winnie just told us, one of the biggest charges listed, racketeering false statements and also influencing witnesses just to name a few. Mark Winnie is standing by live at the Fulton County Courthouse. He just got a copy of that indictment and Mark you've been able to go through it in these past few minutes. What else can you tell us? Well, we have counted 35 defendants charged with racketeering. 35. That is the information that we had uh, as the grand jury was considering. We have also uh, determined that Gloria, uh, I'm sorry, Kathy Augustine, the deputy superintendent, is not in that charge. She is not listed in this list of defendants in the indictment. Beverly Hall's number two is not listed. Three of the people on the next tier down, Sharon Davis Williams, Tamara Cotman, now Johnson, and Michael Pitts, all of whom have maintained their innocence to me face to face, are charged. Uh, my colleague, uh, Richard Elliott, been here with me at the grand jury all week as uh, you've now, you can speak into my microphone, you've got, uh, you've got some more highlights. We, yeah, we've been going through uh, at least the first few pages of the indictments, and I, I'm just going to quote some of what is written in here. Uh, employees of APS who failed to satisfy the test result targets, they were terminated or threatened with termination, while others who achieved targets through cheating were publicly praised and financially rewarded. Beverly Hall placed unreasonable emphasis on achieving targets, protected and rewarded those who achieved targets through cheating, terminated principals who failed to achieve targets, and ignored suspicious CRCT scores gains at schools within the APS. And furthermore, it says that Beverly Hall and other conspirators would interfere with, suppress, and obstruct investigations into cheating using various methods. All right, so we're going to continue to go through this indictment. And again, as you said, we did interview Tamara Johnson, former Tamara Cotman, yesterday, she said that she'd been reading Psalms 27, was relying on her faith, and that the truth would set her free. So we'll be back with you for now, reporting live with breaking news, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.